breaking news. Hmm. It was a terrible afternoon today when Governor Ademola Deleke of Ocean State and his predecessor, Mr. Adegboyega Uyetola, clashed earlier today. The battle between these two is nowhere in sight yet. But guess what? I will be here bringing you every tiny snippet, every little bit, an update of the story as it unfolds. But before we go into the details of today's news, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, what are you doing? Like, what are you even doing on YouTube if you're not subscribed to Newsroom Media? Please go ahead and subscribe. Join this community we have here. We're growing stronger day by day. Join us. Click on the notification bell so that you'll be the first person to get notified whenever we upload a new video. Leave your comments in the comment section as well. I respond to all my comments. Let's, you know, mingle and communicate in the comment section down below. Without further ado, let's delve into the details of today's news. Governor Ademola Deleke of Oshun State and his predecessor, Mr. Adeboyega Oyetala, yesterday clashed over the number of workers employed in the twilight of a government of a later. They also disagreed on issuance of executive orders and sacking of monarchs. While the People's Democratic Party, PDP, accused Oyetola of employing over 12,000 workers before vacating office, spokesperson to the former governor, Ismail Omi, Omi Mindon, has challenged the Adeleke administration to publish the list of the 12,000 workers, saying the figure was unfounded. It was gathered that the Oyetola administration employed 2,400 teachers in primary and post-primary schools across the state, while some contract staff were regularized across ministries and parastators. Apart from the Oshun Youth Empowerment Volunteer Scheme, but Governor Adeleke spokesperson Olawale Rashid who featured on a rave FM talk show yesterday, said the administration has not sacked any workers nor dethroned three monarchs in the state. Rashid clarified Executive Order No. 3 on employment, which states that all employment in the service of Ocean State Government made in any capacity into any capacity in all the ministries, departments, agencies, commissions, boards, and parastators after July 17, 2022, be and are hereby nullified. Clarifying Executive Order 4 on appointments, it said, all appointments at the service of Ocean State Government made in any capacity into any capacity in all the ministries, departments, agencies, commissions, boards and parastators after July 17, 2022, be and are hereby reversed. Similarly, on Executive Order No. 5, on Chieftaincy's Affairs and Appointment of Traditional Rulers, it said, all appointments of traditional rulers made by Oshun State Government after July 17, 2022 are hereby ordered to be reviewed to ensure there was strict compliance with due process of chieftaincy declarations and native law, custom and tradition relating to such chieftaincies. In the case of Ikeno, Ire, and Igbojo, to avoid further breakdown of law and order, the appointment of Akeno of Ikeno, Are of Ire, and Owa of Igbajo are hereby put on hold pending review. Subsequently, the palaces of Akeno of Ikeno, Are of Ire, and Owa of Igbajo should remain unoccupied while security agencies are hereby ordered to take charge. 
on executive order number six setting up review committees it said in line with the executive orders number two three four and five already issued by me i hereby order the setup of a review committees we never sacked workers monarchs says adeleke spokesman speaking on the radio program the governor's spokesman said executive orders three four and five were subjected to the instrumentality of order six his words there was never sack of any worker or traditional ruler we only set up a review panel it is impossible to sack and put a review panel in place the review panel is to look at the numbers of the people that were employed due processes of employment and qualification among other things the executive orders are like a package the initial orders read out the intentions of the administration to review nullify set aside and all those but the instrumentality for effecting one two three four and five others were now the order six which is the panel this is why we are ordering a staff audit it will look into activities from july 17th till we took over those that were employed from july 17th till now are still at work presently they have not been sacked the staff audits will review their employment so this is um, from adele k spokesman the spokesman is now trying to say that there have not been any sack of monarchs or even staff that everybody is still at work and all they've done is just to set up a panel you know to look into those people who were employed from july 17. Hmm. I just know that last last these people are still going to do whatever they want to do whether they set panel or not you know whether they follow due process or no due process the thing is that it involves two political parties entirely and two different regime and i know that this is not the first time it's going to happen it's it has happened in other states they would just they would they don't want to know what you know the other governments are trying to do maybe it's good or bad as long as the employment happened after you know the previous administration lost the election they are going to for sure make sure that you know they kick those people at, out they sack and you know they bring back their own people into power let me know what you think in the comment section subscribe if you haven't i'll see you in my next video guys bye for now